morning, Opa. How you doing? I'm going to give you the finger again, eh? What is that? It's me at 4.30 in the morning. How come I can't sleep lately? The last three days, I've been just fucked right up, man. I moved into a new apartment. I'm in my kitchen this morning. I got to work with Bill this morning. We got to install a fridge and doing stuff like that. Um, you're, <clears throat> you have no reason to be scared of me. If you tell the truth, Opa, and you're honest with me and stuff, I'm not going to like sometimes the way you think, and, and you're not going to like the way I think, but... But I am, um, I am this is another Uncle Rod, man. It's, it doesn't get any, uh, it doesn't get any better than that. It's, that's how it is, man. It's, see how that is, just flash. <laughs> and I'm just another Uncle Rod. And I got big hands, too. My hands are the size of my face. They're just huge. They're bigger than my face, my hands. They're huge, man. I'm getting really big. My, my arms hang down to my knees. It's... Like my feet are growing. I got like size 12 feet, 180 pounds, and I'm as skinny as a rake. I'm just thin, and I'm 180 pounds, and I'm skinny as a rake. Yeah, it's amazing. So here, I got a, I got a suggestion for you, Opa. Remember when I was living in, uh, in Nanaimo, and I had, a, I had a really freaked out, and, and I had to go on antidepressants, remember? And I was taking them stomach medication, the Opa and Mom. Well, I had an idea. I'm going to try doing that again because they're using the harp in Alaska to make me swear at people in my head and shit, and I'm really getting pissed off with that. So I'm thinking of maybe I might try that medication again and see if I can numb my senses out for a, for a couple, you know, numb my senses out for a couple couple months or so and, and see how that works. Maybe I'm going to go on that antidepressant. I forget what the name of it was wasn't Paxil because Paxil is I had a hard time having sex couldn't get it up when I was on Paxil yeah 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 you know them days eh Do you remember what I said you honor your mother and your father Opa so that all of your days on the land may be long huh what do you think of my guitar lesson huh pretty cool eh so you might think you know I know you're scared of me but it's good to be afraid of me because for as scared of you as as much as you're afraid of me i'm just as afraid of you because i don't know what you're gonna do sometimes you surprise me and some of the stuff that you do is corny and the way you put some of your things down but i know i know what you told me about that to eat the corn i got your message i'm not stupid opa i know eat corn eat eat fucking corn why because it cleans out your asshole and, and, and it kills all the germs and you use that with a little bit of a charcoal and I use a water filter, charcoal water filter so they don't get me with amoeba or anything like that. I'm kind of like that a bit, eh? Also, I got another um, confession to uh, tell you, Mom. This is, I don't know how you and Dad are going to handle this, but I've done this and I've checked and this is true. Um, uh, I have a confession. Um... You know Elijah? He's my and Elizabeth Shue's son. He's not Heidi's kid. He's our son. I got Elizabeth Shue pregnant. I was in the military and I got her pregnant. And she couldn't carry the child, so they put the child in Heidi's womb. And Heidi carried him as a surrogate. And that's why Eli has FAE. His teeth were born spaced apart. He has Elizabeth Shue's eyebrows exactly. Has her eyes, has my nose. My lips, she smiles just like me, Eli. I'm his, I'm his father. I wanted you to know, I'm extremely smart. I read books now, don't tell anybody I told you this, but when I read books, I can see words in words and stuff like that. I'm getting really intelligent. I can change street lights, I can stop time, I can stop traffic, I can stop the universe and start it. And my own command and stuff is really weird. I've always been strong-willed like this. I'm not upset anymore, but I'm really pissed with the sarin gas. And the book, I want you to get the book by Hiram. It's called the Hiram Key. It's it's a book. It's, it's a red covered book. I want you to get this book. It's called the Hiram Key. And I know that Peter is pissed off. Peter Romero, he's mad because he's not the rock for the church, even though the Bible wrote that and stuff. 
And I also want to tell you something else. Jacques de Molay, when they, you know how they found me? They tested my blood to Jacques de Molay's blood, and I matched Jacques de Molay. I have another confession to tell you. I'm related, I'm a direct descendant of Jacques de Molay. De Molay, and Jacques de Molay is a direct descendant of James, Jesus' brother, James. See, Barabbas the robber wasn't Barabbas, it was James and Jesus on that day. They arrested Jesus, had a gloomy future. He had a gloomy thing of his own future. And so he arrested Jesus and stuff. And then, then when they had both of them, James and Jesus, but most of the, my supporters were from Qumran. My, my, my supporters were from the Qumran community. And, they, and they, they were my supporters. And Jesus didn't have anybody cheering for him. So they let me go. And they'd crucified Jesus. They crucified Jesus. So I told them, I said to them, I used that saying in Leviticus or in Deuteronomy where, you know, you measure to the next town to, to, to assure guilt. Oh, and another thing too, I know about the carcasses too. When I read in the Bible about the carcass and stuff about the garbage out there, I know all about that too. Not to desecrate into other people's carcasses and stuff like that. I know about that too. And Jin taught me that one yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So other than that too, and um, I don't know, did I get Heidi pregnant? I might have done that too. Um, whoops. <laughs> yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure about that. You would have to go talk to Heidi. See, what I know, Opa, is you have a brother named Ewan. It's Chanko. Okay, you have a brother, or whether I don't know he's a clone, or whether he's an alien, or what. But this is what I do know. I know that Heidi has brown eyes, green eyes, like me. And I know Gwenny has green eyes, too, like me, brown, green eyes. And I know that Gwenny in Haines Junction, that was in Haines Junction, it's not the real Gwenny with the gray eyes, just a clone. Same as Kenneth Oakley that died, was just a clone that died. You want to know another thing, too, Mom? Does the name Ian Watson ring a bell to you? Should. Because I have a brother, an identical twin named Ian Watson. His name is either Orion Lee or Bisky or is Ian Watson. And you have a twin, Mom. You have an identical twin. You have a twin that lives in, in, in on the East Co Coast. Your twin lives in Ontario. And and that's when I when I met you. You know how I found out? I'm gonna tell you how I found out. When I went to, uh, I'm slowing time down a little bit today too, so don't be scared if it seems like everything's taking a long time. Yeah, um, yeah, mom, you have a clone. And when I met you and you and you were walking down the street and you walked right by me and you looked at me and, and I was jamming out and you go, I like this song. And I heard you said, you and check this guy out. He's really good. And you guys didn't recognize me. And I was like, what the hell? You didn't recognize me, so that's when I followed you. Remember when I came up to you, my eyebrows were really bushy, and I was all scruffily shaven, and I was uh, jamming out on the street. Remember that? And you guys took me for supper. And that's how I knew that you, you have another set. Same as Harmony has an identical twin sister named Simone. And I know about Simone, too. I tried to get it in her, and I couldn't. Oh, somebody brought her in the whiters. Remember that? And they're using alien spaceships and proof. I know everything you think I don't know, Opa. I know all about your circus. Now, you didn't invent the circus, okay? I know you didn't invent the circus, but you certainly took advantage of it. You see, that's just the thing, Opa. It, they were the pillars for the church. James assumed the role when Jesus died, and he became the pillars for the church. Now, that's one claim I do have on everybody. Kenneth Lee Oakley had till he was 33. I, I ain't going to stick up for Kenny, but he's still around. Kenny Oakley's alive. He's not dead. He's driving around. He's gay, too. I heard he was gay. Same as Rob Freeman's not. Uncle Rod's, I don't think he's his son. And, Mom, I have a 10-inch long penis, and it is crammed into my colon. When I had that surgery, when I was a kid, they crammed my penis. Well, look at me. I look just like Uncle Rod. Come on, Mom. You've seen Uncle Rod. You know how Uncle Rod's hung. I am the same. No, it's crammed in there. When are you guys? It says, honor your mother and father. So all your days on the land might be long 
You understand, Mom? It's a parable. By honoring the Father, you honor the Son, you see? And by honoring Grandpa, by honoring Grandpa, you honor me. And you know how they found me? Is because I have dual fin fingerprints. Oh, you know how everybody has one set of fingerprints on their on their on their thumb. I have two sets, two individual sets on my whole hands. That's how they found me. The cop when I went in to get fingerprints, he goes, "Son of a bitch!" He goes, "I got you." And she said, "I'll be right back." And then she went in the back room and she says, "I found him. He has the fingerprints." And then the other cop was telling her, I told you so, that's the rock for the church, that's King James. And I read the proclamation to them in the police station, I went right into the police station, turned myself in for my warrant, and they, they and Staff Sergeant Steve Sharp is is okay, He's but I know he's lying, his real name is Randy, or he changed his name, and I know he's got a clone, everybody has clones. And that's the thing, Mom, some people like Angus Watts have like 19 clones and shit, we can't have that many clones. You know, I love you a lot, Mom. I miss you and I miss Opa too, Dad. You're so funny the way you're out. Get rid of that guy. I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> fucking up the loop, eh? Well, if they're that fucking dumb, Edgar. It's like, really? Long as you're not, you know, taking people, abducting them and, and, and you know, committing crimes. But yeah, man, if the people are that dumb and, you know, somebody's got to get rid of the idiots. No, I don't. I don't really want to wipe you out, Opa. But the gas is too much, and they're torturing me and shit. You gotta intercede, Opa. You know, don't, don't, don't say that I'm not smart. Don't say that I'm, I'm not trying, and don't say that I'm not trying to help you because I am helping you. And when I was young too, same as like with me and Heidi, we used to in the bar in KPI or the other bar when we used to dance and kiss each other and stuff and. We used to have a lot of people used to get really excited when they were around me and Heidi. We get along really good. Me and Heidi are like that. I haven't talked to Heidi in, in two years now or a year and a half. I got so mad at her. I just chewed her right out. I said, listen to me. I said, what the hell? I said, you need to fucking get your act together. I said, you know, and it says in the Bible, it says, fear him that can kill both the body and the soul. Fear him. Who do you think him is? Another confession. Heidi, which is the great commandment, which I is, Heidi is trying to the great, great commandment. That's right. So I did. I talked to little Tatoonberg. Oh, Tatoonberg's pissed. She's an upset with Kenny because Kenny's hating on me. And then George is coveting Michelle. And then I've got, you know, like... I remember too, Mama. I, I, I was sleeping the other night and I, had, I was wasn't I had a vision that I was laying in bed in a white bed and I was with Elizabeth Shue and I was making out with her and then all of a sudden I looked at my picture of Elijah and I went oh my goodness and I'm hitting on stuff like that mama and bang and I'm right I I don't get a wrong facial recognition I'm look at the guitar what I did with my guitar yeah I got that guitar pops Oh yeah, I'm not getting rid of it. I got rid of my other one. My Norman's still in the pawn shop. I haven't got it back. Yeah, no, I gave Tanya Shapka a rest. I tried to hump her. I just told her, you know, you've been bad and I'm going to have to, you know, kind of, I told her mentally that I wanted to hump her and I don't know if she's figured that out yet, but I was like, mm, uh, okay. And then I'm like that. I'm, I'm like a child, eh? I just get led around or Oh, the other day I was walking, I was following this girl around. I didn't even realize that I was following her. And then I walked and I almost ran right into her. And she's like, hello. And I'm like, uh, I'm sorry. And she goes, no, you're not. You've been following me, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, I guess I have been. We're just going the same direction. And she goes, that's okay. And I, yeah, I know. Well, I'm really handsome. I'm really big too, man. Am I, am I very, very big? My hands, mom, are like, like Wilf's. You think Wilf's big? You should see my hands now. I don't know what's happening, Mom. And I still got, like I said, I got that dent in my head. I got a huge dent in my head. That's how I know. Somebody shot me in the head here. I was in the military service. They enrolled me. They, they, they named me William James Ian McCall. And I was in the military. And I guess they have a clone of me too, Mom. They have a clone of me. And, and that's what I did. I, apparently, Dad was pretty upset. He actually went up with the, some of the instructors in the Mustangs and... Opa was chasing me around a few times. I went, they cleared out, 
they cleared out over 50,000 people when I was flying in the neighborhood. I went up there the one day and, and apparently I'm just like number one. There's nobody, everybody's like James is the best. And apparently I've got six years under my belt in the military with the Royal Air Force and Queen Elizabeth will vouch for all of this. I don't get along with Harry. I fight a lot with Harry because Harry's a bit of a prick, but he's got to know this. And now, now making sure that Charles doesn't become the king dad or that Wade or something. Like even if Wade claimed to be Jesus, dad, even if Wade claims to be Jesus and stuff, or if it was Kenny that was claiming to be Jesus, it's still going to put the same rap on him. He was initiating people and he was doing anal with boys and little kids you can't do that like jesus was 32 and he was molesting young boys and that's why they put jesus to death because he was molesting and i warned him and i said don't be saying you're the pillars for the church either i said i warned jesus i said you're gonna get yourself killed if you keep doing shit like that sure enough he did same as the ten commandments remember that bible i got i got a bible opa that's a pretty cool bible i'm in love with me myself i love myself that much that i'm willing i'm willing to um to give you a, a a hall pass for a week where you can get away with uh you wanna you wanna go up there and take care of a few people for me you're gonna do that you can get a few more done and get a hall pass get out there might as well go out with a bang opa yeah, no, no, George, no, no, no. George Martinson really coveting Michelle. So Dr. Rose and, and Michelle Hot Mogensen, in fact, they made a clone of her, and a clone of Dr. Rose. And Michelle apparently is just in love with me. She's just totally in love with me. And I do not know why George Martinson, who's Kenny's his dad, George Martinson and Sophie Martinson, Kenny's their father. She's the father of those children. They're all incestual mom. The Anunnaki are like that from Nibiru and we're from Sumer. Summer is our home mom. Was where we're from. We're from Summer. And on this side, mom, I have the trident. The trident of superiority of Zeus. I have the trident. I got that from my beard. You know whom I look like, mom? Renny Belinsky. I have another confession. Renny Belinsky's my father. Uncle Rod's my father and Jim's my father. I've got three strand DNA. On the right side is James Richard, James Joseph Richard Werbisky. And on the left side is James Rene Yves Lebinsky. And in the middle is Rada, is Rod and Rhoda. Mom, that's why I look like Uncle Rod. I look just like Uncle Rod and I should be hung like Uncle Rod too. My pubic bone is in my mom. I need that fixed. I know you have connections, mom. And I know also what you said. Last night, I didn't get any visitors either. And I got tortured. I haven't been sleeping very good, mom. I care about you, mom. I need your help, eh, mom? Like, I'm so lonely, mom. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't, I just want, you know, we all are fucked up in our own way. We're all sick in that. But, you know, you can sleep with Uncle Rod and stuff like that, but... You know, I was, you know, like, you know, like Kenny Oakley, the, I guess the Anunnaki are like that, same as Simone. You know, like somebody put Simone down there, Saint Harmony's twin, they put Simone down there and I tried to mount her and I was trying to get it in her and I'm like, holy Simona, you're just tight. And I thought it was Simona. Now, you know, Polly, Polly's sisters, he had the two sisters, Simona, well, I humped on her one night and... And I thought it was Simona, and then she sounded like Harmony. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, oh, and who did that, Ma? Your clone did that, or your twin did that. You have a twin, Ma. Same as Ewan. He is Edgar's twin. He has blue eyes. And I met you guys in Vancouver. I met your, your other opposite sides. And Scott Wilson, I think your clone is the mother of Scott Wilson from Departures. That's right. You look at Scotty's nose, Mom. I don't believe in coincidences, Mom. He has the identical nose to you. You're his mom. Scott's mom? Yeah, your clone or your twin is. And you have a twin, Mom. You have a twin sister. So does Uncle Rod. I think his twin brother died. 
But yeah, and then I put Joey in charge down there because I thought Joey just Jardins would be like me. Anyway, um, I'm not going to speak too much longer and stuff, but, you know, I need my pubic bone released, Edgar. That doesn't matter. That needs to do that. And if Michelle Mogensen hot is going to walk the walk, then she should do it now because in the end, if she doesn't want anything to do with me now, then in the end she can, you know, just like, oh, really? But now all of a sudden 20 people want to be with me. Same as Caitlin Osmond. She, I need to get on her and hump her for all my life is worth. Tanya Shapka, I should be humping her. Jasmine, the banker, I want to hump the banker. I'm getting to the point where I want to make children. That has more descendants than the stars. Well, that's not happening. And any man that buys or sells or kidnaps salmon shall surely be put to death. Surely be put to death. That's right. Shirley Tellup and Teresa Caputo. Oh, Ho, 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 Edgar. Two shalt not covet. That's why I'm being like this with you today. I'm telling you this. So it was in my power to kill you last night. Ian Watson came by and was going to kill you last night. And by goodness, man, he just fucking tucked you in and gave you a kiss on the forehead. And you got really lucky, man. I don't know how the hell my brother didn't kill you, but he told me this morning he came by already. We whistled out the name James, and I looked out, and I seen him, and he said, I hope it's all right, I didn't hurt him. And I said, okay, I gotta go, he said, and then he drove off. Seen him, so, anyways, you believe what you want to believe, I believe what I I believe, and it says, believe, believe, but Eli Eve, Elizabeth Shuey, oh, Queen Elizabeth now, you're saying. Oh, really? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, I get around. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth Shue saw me, and she was just, she couldn't resist. She ran right up to me. Who are you? You are so beautiful. I had my beret on and my full military gear. Oh, she just went all over me, and I said, you want to go for supper? And, uh, and that was all. I, I think I have a house in France, and I can't remember where all my money is, too. I got, like, a whole shitload of money. You guys got to help me out with this stuff. And who's feeding me all this crap that made me forget anyways? All the stuff you think I don't know, I do know, Opa. And I'm not stupid. And another thing, the principal is guilty for not for failing me in school. 67%. Oh, Wolf Riedel's in a lot of trouble for that. They owe me money. So we, we need to get on that. The lawyer, Tanya Shafka, I want that done. And it's got to talk to um, the personal injury lawyers in Alberta that, um, what's his, I forget the name of that. So they're using the harps to try to make me forget, the barrister and solicitors. But he's an East Indian guy, looks like Rory Ranger. That law, I, I want the money that's owed to me. They, they, I got completely fucked for, for torturing me with nerve gas, all that I've been through. And Trudeau's just sitting there doing nothing, sitting on millions and millions of dollars. Guess what? The Italians owe me 10 million. The government owes me 10 million dollars. Nah, Opa. I like cocaine, Opa. I don't like speed, and I'm not doing speed, Mom. I'm not on speed. I'm not on heroin. I'm not doing needles. I drink rum, though. I, I like my rum. I'm a rum drinker. Rum, ba da dum dum dum. <laughs> anyway. I love you lots, Mom. I hope the gas is a little bit better. If you all of a sudden you feel like you can't breathe, don't get scared. That's just me. I'm turning the gas down today. Ian's going to come to town and he's going to punch out a few people in your neighborhood. So don't say anything to anybody. If you see a few people walking around with beat up eyes and stuff, that'll be me. I'm going to come in and kick the shit out of a few people in your neighborhood so they get the hint not to fuck around with my family. All right? I love you lots, Pops. You be good. And like I said, you got a hall pass for a week, so... You know, like, no, George Martinson can stay away from Michelle. If Michelle Mogensen promised herself to me in marriage, then he can fuck, you know, he can fucking go find his own bitches. Right? I love you, Mom. I miss you, Ma. And Opa, I miss you, man. And I'm so sorry. And I love you too, Harmony. And, and Edgar, man, no, you can't think of your children like that. Sometimes brothers and sisters love each other. Like me and Heidi loved each other. And we didn't think, now Heidi would be in the bar, she'd be drinking, and she'd just come over and put her arms around me and give me a kiss and 
happy birthday, I love you, and I'd be like, oh, okay, Heidi, and then she'd just hug me, and I'd hug her, and then we'd slow dance, and, or she'd go, come here, I got a girl for you, and let, let's go and get laid, and, and we were always like that, I, I don't want to scare you people, but that's just the way we are, we are, same as when Heidi was in Surrey, I pulled up in a limo, 20 foot, 25 foot long limo, got out with a couple briefcases, went in the house, pulled it out, I need your hand, she goes, what the hell? I fucking put a fucking 44 on the table and said, here, fucking count this all up for me. And fucking, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Oh, I had over $35,000, dollars in one, about 300000 in the other briefcase. I pulled out a huge chunk of hundreds and dropped it on the table. I said, you count yourself out what you need for your daycare and for, for, for Eli and, and get a, get our, our boy, a, you know, get our boy a new vehicle, whatever, man. Let's get him a new vehicle. That's the right thing to do, man. See, that's how I feel like that. I feel like that today. I'm going to buy Eli a brand new vehicle. That's how life works. See? It's only money. Why are we being tortured? No, Nobody deserves to be tortured, man. Certainly not you. Certainly not Opa. Unless you're breaking the law really bad, which I don't see right now, Opa. I don't see you breaking the law too bad. Now, if... You know, you got to date George McLaren a few times to get rid of him, then so be it. You know, well, he's stupid as a stupid does, man. You know, you, why, why, hey, man, two shall have no gods before me. I have a passport and I look just like Michelle Mogensen. She smiles just like me. Now, I'm worried about doing it to her because I, she might be my, my daughter. Michelle Mogensen might be, I might be the father of, of Donna Ha's children. Oh, ho, ho, ma, I get around. Padunka. Well, she looks just like me. Michelle Mogensen doesn't smile like Tyrone. She has brown hair like me and smiles like me. And it says, two shall have no gods before me. Who could describe partners to him? I am him, mom. It's not Kenneth Oakley. And honor your mother and your father. And Jim, him. Jimmy Ian Warbisky. That is right. Acts 17.23 says I'm God. Imagine that, Opa. However, yes, Opa, you have the right to be a savior. You have the right to play the role of Jesus. If, and now I'm saying if, you honor your, your children. By honoring your children, you honor your father. You understand? You're not going to honor all his deeds. Look, man, life was not fair to you. You know, I know what happened to you in the garage, Opa. What? I know what happened to you when you were little in the garage. Oh, I know about that. And I know another time, too, when they tied you up and whipped you. I know about that, too. I got their son. I broke his nose last week. I punched his son. I punched him that fucking... Dank us out, their kid. I got their kid last week. Don't worry about that. Aha, I have a good memory, Pops. Okay, I love you, Mom and Dad. I got to work today. Billy's going to be calling me soon. Have a good day, Mom. Love you lots and love you too, Opa. Be good. Hey, Harmony, how you doing, Turkey? And hi, Rowanna. You know, did you know that you might even be John the Baptist? John the Baptist is a girl. So it's either you or Caitlin Osman or someone like that. Revelations. Love you.